Diane, what are you doing? Is that a dating app? Well, yeah, I'm killing time before we start filming the thing, Ooh, so. this guy looks no. good. Well, you just swiped right on a It's perfect, guy with he a... had a face tattoo. Exactly. Perfect. All right, let's get to work. And now, your Seattle real estate market update with Aaron Janis. Welcome to your June market update. As always, let's jump right into some numbers. Diane, how are the median home prices looking this month? Well, Aaron, the median home prices around the area beginning in Seattle last month was at $830,000, which is actually up over last month by $40,000. However, it is still down 7.72% over the same time last year. Looking at the east side, prices are off 10.46% over the same time last year to $1,253,000 or just a little more than that. But in Seattle, this is up a bit over last month. Zooming out across King County, we can see that the median sales price is down 7.19% year over year at over $816,000, which is up over last month by around 3%. So Aaron, how is inventory looking? Well, thank you, Diane. Starting here in Seattle, we see active inventory up 30.6% this month, uh, year over year, while pending sales are down nearly 21.5%. There's currently one and a half months worth of inventory in Seattle, which is down month over month as well. Over on the other side of Lake Washington, we see active inventory actually down 17.9% over last year with pending sales down 20%. The east side is currently sitting at 1.2 months of inventory, which is even less than last month. Now looking all across King County, the active inventory is nearly flat year over year with pending sales down 24%. Currently we have 1.26 months worth of inventory in King County. Diane, there's still very little inventory out there, so things must be selling like hotcakes, right? Well, <clears throat> we took a look at the homes that are doing offer review periods, which is an interesting data point that points to how much the competition is out there. Uh, here's what we found. Across King County, about 23% of listings had offer review periods. In Seattle, it was nearly 22%, and over on the east side, we found it was about 25%. And this is actually much less than it was at the peak of the pandemic market. And despite the competition, the average list to sale price in King County is still about 100%. And this is in contrast to March 2022, when we peaked at just over 109%. Wow. Okay, so let's round out this update with a little check-in with our dear friends over at Freddie Mac. They tell us for the week ending June 8th, the 30-year fixed rate average was 6.71%. This is up a quarter point from a month ago, and it's up 1.48% from what it was a year ago. According to Freddie Mac, uh, mortgage rates decreased after a three-week climb. While elevated rates and other affordability challenges remain, inventory continues to be the biggest obstacle for prospective home buyers. Well, Freddie, you got that right. Uh, Diane, what is one to do if they were looking to buy or sell in this market? Well, Aaron, it turns out that despite the lack of inventory, there are still opportunities out there for buyers, and it takes some patience and some willingness to be flexible. However, we are still finding and successfully closing homes for our buyers, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, so as a seller, despite not enjoying 20% escalations, if this is the time for you to move on, then it's time to move on. At the end of the day, everyone has a different story and different needs. Call your trusted real estate team <laughs> to discuss your particular goals. And if you're a seller with the right preparation, you can use this tight inventory situation to your advantage. If you're a buyer, let's explore different opportunities out there because there are in fact opportunities. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Please, as always, like and subscribe and follow us everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Anywhere you find us, just follow us. Except like, maybe not in the store. That's a little creepy. Not in the store. <laughs> not in the store. See you next month. House Goals Realized. Janice Group at Remax Integrity. It's a tooth!